Welcome back to the show. We are uh, joined by James Chevret from Sound Advice Marketing. Thanks Hello. for being back with yes. us. So, um, so kind of a tech talk segment with you, James, to talk a little bit today about some safer ways, if you will, or more legal ways to mm -hmm. use mm -hmm. your phone or have conversations behind the wheel. You're, you're yes. not using your phone in your hand, but there are ways to still, you know, uh, make a phone call or yes. send a text message. Um, and one of which is uh, one I think a lot of people are familiar with, Apple CarPlay. Yes. Yeah, no, it's been out. It's not new. It's been out for a couple of years now. But one big thing was, even with the weather the way it is, mm -hmm. really notice you have to have two hands on the wheel just yeah. to drive. Yeah. And, you know, um, some people cheat a little bit, but, you know, that's also big fines now. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show actually how easy technology is now to integrate into the car. And um, one of the great examples is, is I tell everyone, if you can operate a smartphone, mm -hmm. you can operate your radio. Because oh, okay. everyone gets scared now that there's too many buttons, I have to yeah. learn new things, or how am I gonna do that? Mm -hmm. Well, what if to answer calls and to do text messages and everything in your car is exactly the same as on your phone, and you can take your phone and you can put it in a glove box or even in a center console where it's 100% legal mm -hmm. and you're not touching anything and it's not in plain view of the drivers either. Because it just comes up as a display on your... Correct. On your... Yeah. Uh, in, in your car. Yeah. Okay, great. So I know we have, um, and, and another one too, is, there's another one as well, but if we have a video of Apple CarPlay, maybe we'll kind of get a sense yes. of what James is talking about here. Um, if we have that first video, we can put that up. Yeah. The Apple CarPlay one, there we go. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I actually use this in my car, so I'm very familiar with yes. it. And it's fantastic. You can text people and everything. Yes. And that, honestly, um, the biggest one I found, I always use my wife. I always bring that up a lot as a big tester. And the big one is that she can text while driving mm -hmm. with her voice and answering messages. Exactly. So the nice thing, I can say, you know, honey, can you pick up bread? You know, and then Siri goes, you know, you have a new message. Beep, beep. And you go, please read me the message. And then they audibly read the message to you. Mm -hmm. So then you aren't taking your eyes off the road. You're not actually touching anything to do with the phone. So there's no issues with law enforcement. And now you can actually get your messages. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah that's great. And um, you can, and it looks the same pretty much too, I think, for, uh, on your phone, as you mentioned, uh, the same in the car. As a, yeah, so. It's not anything different. You're not having to learn a bunch of stuff is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, no, not at all. Like, it's a great example. The same green icon there you answer is. your yeah. phone with yeah. is the same one you use in the car. Yeah. So if you can, like I said, once again, if you can operate your phone, so like even I'll go like this real quick. Mm-hmm and they'll come on in, you'll see the four icons along the bottom mm -hmm. are the, exactly the same. They have the green phone, they actually have your music, they have everything, as you can see. The, sorry, it's a little bit backwards for me. <laughs> the green <laughs> phone and your music button here. Yeah. Just like, so it is no different. So like I said, if you can operate your smartphone, you can operate this new radio. And they're coming now on, Hyundai has it, Chevy has it. Um, I'm not sure on Ford, to be honest. I know Chrysler has mm -hmm. it, I know BMW has it. Like, mm -hmm. This technology is already here. Yeah. So use it if you can. Yes. Um, the next one is Android Auto. So is that the same sort of thing just with your Android instead yes. of an Apple? Okay. Yeah, it's the same idea. Like there's Siri on, um, on Apple and then Android Auto has their own version. Um, Android Auto is a little bit more of the Google Maps opposed to Apple Maps. Okay. Uh, but essentially they are the same. Okay. And the one nice thing is also your phone is charging mm -hmm. while it's doing all this. I was just going to say, you have to have them plugged in, right? Is that how There they is work? some now that are doing wireless. Okay. But I have not seen them, I'm going to say, at the OEM manufacturers mm -hmm. yet for car makers. Um, I believe Alpine Electronics this year has one with wireless CarPlay. Okay, because I, I, yeah, that's the one thing I noticed that uh, anytime I plug my phone in, it automatically goes to the CarPlay, which is yeah. good, right? Yeah. That's what you want. But I was just wondering if you had to plug your phone in. So would you say one is better than the other or is it just if you have an Android, use Android Auto. If you have Apple, use Apple CarPlay. Honestly, it's whatever you're used to. Okay. You know, that's the biggest thing nowadays. The one thing, the only downside is you are using your data mm, when you're using it. But keep in know. mind, if I'm using the maps, chances are if, if who's in the passenger side, they're going to be using your data anyway. Yeah. So it's no different. But I caution is on music. Okay. People don't understand that as much. Unless the music is on the phone, it is gonna use your data on your phone and burn through your data on your cellular, fan, your cellular plan. Good tips, thanks so much, James, yeah. great. Excellent, for more information or to talk to James mm. directly, you can do so by giving him a call there. Of course, uh, visit Sound Advice Marketing on Facebook as well. We're back in two minutes, stay with us.